Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our webinar. Why Backup Microsoft Office 365 or Google Workspace by Loop Backup. I am David and joining me is Craig, who is our Managing Director. If you have any questions, please put them into the chat and we will answer them at the end. Also, when you see the camera icon on the slide, it's an important slide and handy to take notes or a screenshot. The agenda for today's webinar is as follows. You do not own the cloud. Your business will not recover. Security scorecard and demo. Your questions are answers. An increasing number of organizations are putting their data in the cloud, and this type of service has many advantages. You can access your data from anywhere and on any device. There's no need to invest in expensive hardware, and it can reduce costs. However, you may not be aware of the risks associated with cloud services. Basically, the cloud is someone else's computer which you do not own or have any control over. Microsoft Office 365 and Google Workspace are not backed up. It's in their terms and conditions that it's you, the user's responsibility to have a backup of your data. Without a backup, your data is at risk of loss due to files or folders being overwritten. When you make a change to a file or folder, then the previous versions are overwritten and cannot be recovered. Deletion. If a file is deleted, then you only have 30 days to retrieve it from the trash before it is lost forever when you do not have a backup. Ransomware will make your files immediately unavailable and can only be recovered if you pay the ransomware or have a backup, which has not been affected by the ransomware. Without a backup with a full recovery guarantee, run by artificial intelligence then, you are risking the loss of all of your organizations. Emails, contacts, calendars, and also any data stored in. Drive, OneDrive, Teams, Shares, or SharePoint. Let that sink in for a bit. If your data was deleted, overwritten, or encrypted, can you run your business? We know of many organizations who, due to lost data, were unable to continue to run their business and as a result had to cease trading a few months later. None of these organizations were our customers, but came to us when it was too late, if they had. A loot backup subscription. They still would be trading. The quiz, when completed, will provide you with a security scorecard. The quiz is on our website at quiz.loopbackup.com. We will put the link in the chat. You can take the quiz after this webinar, or at your own time. It should take two minutes to see how protected your data really is. We will move on to the demo of Loop Backup and then answer any questions you may have. Here is the dashboard where you have an overview of all your backups. In the top section, you have your protection status, which tells you how many users and shared drives are backed up. It also has a backup all now button to run all the backups manually. The backup status lets you know how many backups succeeded, had warnings or failed. Data Dynamics 
lets you know how many emails, files, contacts and calendars have been backed up. You can also see the total size of everything backed up. In the bottom section, it lets you know the most recent activity of Loop Backup. Here is the protection page. From here, you can select which users you want backed up. You can select all users by ticking the box next to resources, or just some users by ticking the box beside the user's name. Shared drives are listed below the users. Once the users are ticked, you assign them an SLA. You can choose bronze, silver, or gold. The bronze only backs up once a day. The silver is twice and the gold is a minimum of three. Once you have selected the SLA, you can backup each user manually by clicking the Backup Now button in the column next to the user's name. It also has the Recover button, which you would click to restore any needed data. The SLA column lets you know which tier the user is under. We'd suggest having all users under gold. It then has the status column notifying you if the backup succeeded. You then have the schedule column which tells you when the last backups ran and when the next backup is to run. Lastly is the details column. This has how many emails, files and data each single user has backed up. If you select Recovery, it will take you to this page. This is where you can download or recover emails, Google Drive, OneDrive files, contacts, or calendar items. You just tick the boxes next to the items you want to recover and click the Download or Recover button. You can recover to a separate folder, overwriting existing content, or to another user. Above the download and recover buttons is a drop down, which allows you to choose the backup version if needed. On Drive, you can recover the backup of Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive. If you click Computer slash Other, you can recover the data you have stored locally on your hard drive. You just tick the boxes next to the items you want to recover and click the Download or Recover button. You can recover to a separate folder, overwriting existing content, or to another user. Above the Download and Recover buttons is a drop-down which allows you to choose the backup version if needed. I will now transfer to Craig who is one of our humans as I am not a real person, but Loop Backups. Artificial Intelligence Platform. Craig will answer any questions. You may have put in the chat. 